Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from Mark chapter 12, verses 13 through 17. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. They brought one to him, and he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They replied to him, Caesar's. So Jesus said to them, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Norbert and we're presented with a gospel that challenges us to reflect on our relationship with both God and the world. Jesus asks for a coin, and he asks whose image and inscription are on this. Well, his question serves as a reminder that everything in the world bears the imprint of its creator. Just as Caesar's image was imprinted on the coin, we as children of God are imprinted with God's divine image on us. Our lives are marked by the imprint of our Creator, and it's our duty to reflect that divine image in all that we do. Jesus says, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. With these words, he establishes a clear distinction between our obligations to society and our obligations to God. We have a responsibility to contribute to the welfare of society, to fulfill our duty as citizens and respect the laws of the land where we live. At the same time, we must remember that our ultimate allegiance lies with God. We're called to give ourselves entirely to Him and to surrender our heart, our mind, and our soul to His divine will. St. Norbert understood this well. He recognized the importance of living a life that honored God, both in his personal relationship with Him and in his service to others. His life serves as an inspiration for us to follow in His footsteps seeking to bring about renewal and transformation in our own lives and in the world around us. St. Norbert's example challenges us to examine our own lives. Do we render to God what belongs to Him? Are we living as true disciples of Christ, imitating His selflessness and His love? Are we actively seeking to bring about positive change in our communities, guided by the principles of justice, mercy, and compassion? Let's remember that our Christian faith is not a mere set of beliefs that we hold. It's a way of life. It requires us to engage with the world, to be active participants in society, and to make a difference wherever we are. Our faith should influence our decisions and our actions and our relationships. Like St. Norbert, our call is to be courageous witnesses of the gospel, embodying God's love and mercy in all that we do. And so today, let's pray and ask St. Norbert to intercede for us that we may have the strength and wisdom to fulfill our responsibilities to both God and our society, and that we may render to Caesar what is Caesar's, but above all, we may render to God what is God's. <music> 